For the past several years, the U.S. women's national team have made it clear that their play on the field is kind of the least of their concerns. They're worried about playing victim, about some fake wage gap thing, when in reality, they agreed to a different contract than the men because they wanted a different contract than the men until it suited them to play victim. They've been kneeling for the national anthem. They've been disrespecting their country. Even during this World Cup, that's been more of the news than their actual play. It was the fact that they, again, were disrespecting this country in the national anthem. All of that is quickly coming to a close because the U.S. women's national team has just lost in the most embarrassing fashion in their entire history. They're out of the World Cup in the round of 16 in a pathetic loss to Sweden. Now, this happened early in the morning. I know John Matrix was watching when it happened. It was a 0-0 game. It went to penalty kicks. And, you know, Megan Rapino actually had a big opportunity to save the day. This would have really put the U.S. in a commanding lead here in yep. these penalty kicks. Megan Rapino, she wins an SB. Can she win a World Cup? Rapino, right, puts it over the bar. Wide right. <laughs> She's, is she smiling? She is yeah, smiling. Yeah, after this and don't worry we're going to get to the reactions from some of these women how Megan Rapinoe's is so much different this is her last moment on the field her last moment in history that is what it was this is the end of her U.S. women's national team career and really everyone's just kind of looking at this and mocking the United States because this is a team that set themselves as better than everybody else. They acted like their shit don't stink. They were celebrating a pathetic draw against Portugal. Yes. And this is what you get. You know, they they have been, they have set the standard themselves. They are the ones that acted like they were above reproach. When Carly Lloyd criticized them, they said, she doesn't know anything that's going on with this team. Turns out Carly Lloyd was right to be worried about this team because yeah. now they're done. Yep. We called it, man. Me and Rose called it. They said that we said they are losing to Sweden, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, I, I saw, you know, I, I don't really care about soccer, especially women's soccer, but I mean, I, I saw the response from Carly Lloyd after their draw the other day, and just they were dancing around, even Alex Morgan, they were like dancing around, taking pictures with family and fans in the, in the crowd and stuff. It's like, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? They yeah, it's like how I, you can't celebrate like that after barely avoiding disaster in a game you should have won hands down. Yeah, you know, an, an underperformance like that. Really, if the ball had been just a little bit to one side, there would be a completely different story. This actually had a very, very close finish. I don't know if you guys saw this. How close this last goal is? I know John did. I uh, did. But I, let's let's watch this. This is the one that decided it all right here. You're talking about a game of centimeters, millimeters. Parting. Off there. Did it go in? Now, they didn't call it for a second because they actually had to go to the VA, our VAR replay system. And they determined the ball was completely inside the goal. So it was like a 40-second delay in them being able to celebrate. But that's what it was, a game of inches, a game of centimeters. And the U.S. comes out on the wrong side of this thing. And I want you to listen to some of the way that these players react. Here's Alex Morgan, right? Uh, let's listen to Alex Morgan's emotion, everything like this that's going on with her. Alex, from start to finish, it was might be a little low. Such a strong performance, sounds for you good. Guys, but I, I see the emotion, and I can't imagine what you're going through. How would you describe the way this one ended for you guys? Um, yeah, just devastated. Um, feels like a bad dream, and I don't know. The team put everything out there tonight. I feel like we dominated, but it doesn't matter. Then the day we're going home, and it's the highs and lows of the sport of soccer. Um, Obviously, incredibly emotional, very upset about this yeah. entire thing. I also want you to listen to Julie Ertz, and then we'll listen to Megan Rapinoe. We'll reverse this and listen to Megan Rapinoe second, cool. because quite honestly, it's fucking pathetic. All right, let's listen to Julie Ertz and how sure, emotional she is. Yeah, the future is in absolutely great hands. You know, um, sometimes you learn the most from your failures, which sucks, but it's part of my career as well. And um, yeah, unfortunately, this is my last time in this crest so i'm excited for them in the future obviously holding wow. back tears like very upset this is the way her career mm -hmm. is ending let's listen to megan rapino it's a it's a tough one and there's just some some dark dark comedy and me missing <laughs> a penalty in my last game ever so yeah because yeah, i was saying with a smile i mean was that just pretty much a message that that's football that's life things happen i mean that's a sick joke that's just like 
Yeah, I mean that's a sick job. I just I can't believe that. I just like I never even I never even hit them over ever when they're safe. So yeah, I mean well, you that's did. just how it goes. Wow. Like, she like she is the biggest cause of all this. She is the yeah. reason that so many people hate this team. She is the reason one of the reasons they lost these penalty kicks, and she doesn't seem all that broken up about it. Yep. How oh, they could they could they could have went up four two on the penalty kits if she would have made hers. And she opened a door for Sweden because the Nets penalty kit, they also missed it too, which would which would have actually won the match for them. They missed it again. And then they open a the door for Sweden again, and then Sweden takes advantage of it and they win. Maybe obviously, that was some divine intervention, man. <laughs> you know, obviously not everyone on this team hates America. Not everyone on this team disrespects the country. Not everyone on this team holds the same opinions as Megan Rapino. But this team has been inextricably like connected to her now. It, it will yep, right. never be able to be distanced from Megan Rapino. And this is her legacy. This is fucking karma for the U.S. women's national team. That's what this is. The most embarrassing failure we've ever seen for this team in history. And it's all, I mean, you can lay a lot of the blame right at the feet of Megan Rapino. And she's smiling through this saying that it's a sick joke, whatever. And like the reality is she's the sick joke in it because look yeah. at look at the reaction from her teammates who she let down with Julie Ertz, who actually cared. Alex, say what you want about Alex Morgan. You know, Alex Morgan might be one of the more talented players on that team, or at least she was a few years ago. And she was just completely broken about it. And then you get Megan Rapino, whose entire, like you said, the drama surrounding this team was completely on Megan Rapino. And then that reaction out of her when you just see her teammates are just so broken about it it's it's sickening man yeah uh hey megan rapino that's the end of your career we'll see you later you dumb bitch go fuck yourself pathetic <laughs>